U.S. officials now admit an American stealth drone was spying on Iran. It's an about face from when it crashed, when officials claimed it was only flying on the Afghanistan side of the border, strictly looking for insurgents, not spying. But even then, we heard doubts. I could have been deliberately used in Iran, and it's uh, very likely, in fact, that it was a uh, reconnaissance platform of choice uh, to do precisely that, to take a look at Iran's nuclear uh, weapon system. U.S. military officials now confirm the Sentinel was flying a surveillance mission of suspected nuclear sites. They say the U.S. military didn't know what the drone was doing because it was being run by the CIA. The Afghan government wasn't informed either. And Afghan President Hamid Karzai wants his nation kept out of the Iran-U.S. rift. And that Afghanistan's sovereignty and territorial integrity and soil is not used one against the other. But the U.S. Defense Secretary suggested the flights will not stop. Part and parcel of uh, our effort to uh, defend this country and to defend our country uh, involves uh, important intelligence operations which we will continue to uh, pursue. The Christian Science Monitor spoke with an Iranian engineer who claims Iran hacked the U.S. drone and guided it down intact. It could basically spoof the drone into thinking that it was landing where it was supposed to be, but in fact landing where the, the uh, hackers, the spoofers, wanted it to land. U.S. officials claim it was a technical problem. One former intelligence official said the Sentinel is impossible to see and dismissed Iran's claims. But aviation experts say there's evidence Iran may have the capability to jam the drone's GPS link. Its design is not to shoot down an enemy in the old way. It's more to learn what the enemy's doing and maybe react and, and shoot down the enemy in a very 21st century way. But how much intelligence will Iran really get out of its prize? By all accounts, the Sentinel is one of America's most sophisticated drones. But several aviation experts tell us it's not the most sophisticated stealth technology. And there are several systems coming online in the next couple of years that will make it outdated. Chris Lawrence, CNN, the Pentagon.